Okay, today in this forum I'm going to be talking about the teen brain and uh, how it affects teenagers' behaviors and their decision making. Um, Alright, so many parents uh, do not understand why their teenagers occasionally behave in an impulsive, irrational, or dangerous way. Uh, to the parents at times, it seems like teens don't think things fully, don't think things through fully. Uh, or they don't consider the consequences of their actions. And this is because adolescents differ uh, from adults in the way they behave, solve problems, and make decisions. Scientists have identified a specific region of the brain uh, called the amygdala that is responsible for immediate reactions including fear and aggressive behavior. This region develops early, however, the cerebral cortex, which is the area of the brain that controls reasoning and helps us think before we act, uh, that develops later on in life. This part of the brain is still changing and maturing well into adulthood, which causes for the teenager's risky behavior, not fully thinking things through because their brain hasn't fully developed yet. So they don't have all those, the, the concepts of what can happen from their actions. Other changes in the brain during adolescence include rapid increase in connections between the brain cells and making the brain pathways more effective. Nerve cells develop myelin, which is an insulating layer that helps communicate. It helps cells communicate. Uh, all these changes are essential for the development of coordinated thought, action, and behavior. Studies have shown that teenagers are more likely to be a, become addicted to alcohol and drugs. <clears throat> and that development prefrontal, prefrontal cortex synapses, which are junctions between two nerve cells, are selected based on whether they've used whether they've used them or not so behaviors that shape the brain are more likely to be maintained if they're started at at a younger age um, in this instance the brain is kind of acting as a more like a sponge as it can soak up new information and change to make room for a con a concept known as neuroplasticity so in this, in this uh, little diagram here, the cortex is like the sponge layer of the brain, which soaks up a lot of a lot of the behaviors that are going on uh, in an adolescent's life. And so, the uh, the more negative behaviors a adolescent or a teenager does at a younger age the more likely they will continue doing those because the brain shapes them for those behaviors. Neuroplasticity is the ability of the brain to, to form and recognize synaptic connections, especially in response to learning or experience or following injury. So if a teenager starts using drugs or performing dangerous activities uh, or behaviors, uh, in their early teen years, they are more likely to continue doing those things because of the cortex soaking up those behaviors and thinking that's a normal behavior, so it wants to keep doing that and recognizing that. They're going to be more likely to continue to do those things as their brain is, is shaping and forming these activities, or you know, if they're using drugs at a young age, uh, they're gonna, the brain's going to continue wanting those things because that's, it's being shaped. Uh, and and molded to want those things and to think those those are the things that the brain or brain needs and the body needs. So the brain is going to place more importance and dependence on them, which will then lead to addiction um, if they're using a certain drug, or it will lead to a constant poor behavior if they're continually performing and engaging. And a lot of these poorly choiced 
a actions, um, the brain will put more dependence on them because of because the the cortex here is the cortex is just a little it's kind of like a, a film around the brain kind of because that cortex uh, is soaking in all these behaviors um, it's going to soak in the bad ones bad decisions uh, and then that's what shapes the brain so that's all I had for the uh, adolescence and teen brain and decision making.